Hello everyone and welcome back to Ridiculous Resins. I'm Ace. I'm going to give you a thorough front to back tutorial today. It will actually be the first because I'm just getting a really good hold of all of this. Dennis, my boyfriend, is here. He's going to be uh, creating with me today. Um, so let's get right into it. I got my two parts. A and B. I'm going to pour equal parts. Um, I'm pouring two sets because he will have his own and I will have my own. So let's go A and we're going to pour as well as we can onto the popsicle stick so that will alleviate bubbles. I mean you're still going to have some but not a lot. How's my measuring? Need to keep going? Keep going? Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm not wearing any gloves right now. I probably should be. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're going for part B now. Pouring on the side is the same as pouring on a popsicle stick and because I have been a bartender for years, I'm actually doing very well at these pours. Oh, that's a little over. That this one's under. All right. All right. I have a pile of already ripped off paper towels that you can't see, so that I don't have to stop and, you know. So you're gonna pour. Part B's into part A's. I'm not trying to waste any of this. And then we're both going to mix our equal parts for three minutes in this container. And we are at. Alright, we got about 15 seconds left on our mix. This is our final mix in our brand new container. some in there, make your colors. I'm going to do the same. And 
you don't want to fill up your molds all the way the first time because you want to leave oops plenty of room for alcohol inks or glitters or what have you I'm super OCD so y'all are gonna start to always see me cleaning as I go that's what I does alright um, this one I think I'm gonna do some paints and this one I'm gonna use some colors on alright liking that so the colors, what to do, what to do. I don't know what to do. What should I do? For once. I'm so guys. Toothpicks. Toothpicks are here, right here in this tray. put some of this uh, say that's chocolate chocolate glitter there and then uh, it's kind of uh, I don't know just like a more of an orangish orangish there we go gold I'll put some of that in there that looks amazing I love it oh oh okay that's where that's going just accidentally got some of this in my mold because I am uh, overexcited here. Are you going to mix that? Yeah, I got my mix. Oh, you're just going to pour it. I got you. He's crazy. He's going in. Kind of like uh, my autumn palette, this chocolate brown, this gold. It's pretty good. This is that, uh, it's like an orange. It's a great hue though, like it, it's not orange, it's got like this undertone of red to it, so it's, it's not bland, and I really like that. So, this is where that happened. You know what, I, I, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm going to worry about this. This is what I'm going to worry about right here. Um, let's start... There's kind of brown in there, is there? Kind of brown. Maybe. Putting some of these, um, it's like a light gold mica flakes. And these I'll have to push down into a mixture. Oh, yeah, that's definitely I'm liking that. Alright, so I'm going to pour that in the middle. go all in with the chocolate because that has the flakes in it. These other two I'll probably end up using for 
the little uh, vertical molds. Alright. Paper towel. Right, I, I'm done with this one. I'm just going to leave it like that. Oh, that's pretty. Um, and I saw this trick. What, purple? Yeah. Yes. One second. Okay, so I saw this trick, and this is literally some highlighter that you would put on your cheek or your brow, okay? And then I've got um, just like a little concealer brush. So I saw somebody else do this. So you take the powder, and you're going to brush it on the inside of your mold. This is the little tiny teddy bear mold. Yeah, that shit's like clogged up or something. What? The, the flake shit. Alright, I'm going to move this out of the way so I do not... Oh, over here. Okay. So, I'm literally just... Getting that all in the nooks and crannies. Dump the rest out. So now I'm going to take um, that uh, kind of light orangish glitter and I'm going to pour that into our teddy bear. You want to take a toothpick and make sure that you got in all of the nooks and crannies. Because it might be self leveling, but if it's not in there, it's not in there. Um, a tad bit. Alright. Alright. So I'm going to get these out of my way. I still have this full one here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I definitely... I'm going to... Now remember I put some of these... Oh wow, that is covered in resin. Oh, that happened, dear. Oh, it is, oh, it <laughs> this thing is covered in resin. Oh, my God. All right, so I put some of these flowers, cut just a couple of little sprigs, and put them in here. I'm going to pour, actually, I'm going to use my popsicle stick and kind of Because I want this to get all over now what I feel like I realize I'm gonna have to do now is fiddle with this a little bit and get the one sprig like it is suspended
Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this because it kind of is just doing what it wants. But I'm going to fill it up. Where are more purple cups at me? Those are the last ones. Oh, okay. That's I'll why just, I said I'll you only them. use. I'll use this. Calm down there, buddy. I'm good. Dennis is getting out of hand here. No. All not right, me, I guys, not me. Pour it a little bit too much. Mine's getting out of hand. There we go. All right. So, wipe this up here. So I've got my purple flowers in there. My teddy bear with the whatever you call that in there highlighter it's literally oh look all the glitter went to the middle now I can scoop it out amazing that's what I'm talking about hopefully maybe no okay so now I'm just gonna swirl it around so it's not everywhere because it was completely unintentional so that'll give us a little sparkle sparkle on this but this is gonna be my alcohol ink Decided what color to do. I don't want to put that much. Uh, that's orange. I'm gonna go give me some blue in this. Let me just keep my white open and out because that's the money. That's what gives you your depth. Let's see. Pink. I'll get some. I'm gonna get some black in there. That's where I'm going first. Um, this is just the Jacquard Pinata colors. That's the only. Anything else, I will definitely tell you what it is. But I'm just going in. Pink. More white. Uh, some purple. More white. Tons of white. White is your money. And then, um, maybe another black. And another white. And then there is plenty of room in here, so I'm just going to fill that up. I'm going to fill that up. <clears throat> oh, I didn't, okay, I didn't, I don't think I put any blue in here. Oh, fuck. Yes. Potty mouth. You make me put an age rating on my video. Then my fan base goes down the toilet. Who knows who's watching this? Oh my 
This God, is easy. That. That's a mess. Oh my word. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, it might come out actually kind of cool because you have that dome going around yeah. it. You only have to like, I mean, you can Let's hit it with a Q-tip a couple times and. Oh, wait. where's the blower? It's a heat gun, not a, a blower. Gun. I'm the one who makes up cute names for stuff. Let's see what we got going over here. Yeah, that heat gun, it will create all kinds of cells. through some of this stuff so it won't be so lengthy but at this point you know what I'm gonna pour some of this glitter in here and see what happens oh, no. Damn. <laughs> oh Christmas Oh man. That's the process. Ooh, nice. Yeah, hold on. Man. Yeah. All right, this actually could stand a touch more. All right, now that is number three. I'm done with that one. You and the puff paint. You gotta get. You, you got. You gotta get more creative with it. They just look like little gold, red glitter worms. Yeah, I was trying some. <laughs> Are you gonna pour more resin in there? No. Okay. I mean, yeah, I could just. No, that's fine. Well, I, mean, I was just wondering. If you don't have it, yeah, if you got some left. Okay, um, what should I put inside my diamond? It's been in there a while. Mm -hmm. You know what, I'm going to put some of these in here. You know what, let me make some white. So I told you I got that white. I got pink and purple LA Looks eyeshadow. It mixes great with this. And I've had no issues. So, actually, I'm just going to pour some in here and mix it in there. Make sure you, your caps match because we had a mix up with the green and the white and now it looks seafoam. But I'm definitely going to have to clean these later. Let's slide this bad boy over here. And I'm just going to mix that that I just poured in there. like cellophane tubes 
that they chopped them up. I'm going to put some of those in my little Snow White diamond I just made. And then um, I'm just going to pour clear resin in there now. I think that's going to turn out nice. Alright. Dave, I got those rags uh, in my car now, so I'm going to grab some of those. Okay. Dennis paints this commercial painting, and they have these rags that have like peppermint oil or something weird in them, and they work amazing. So. It'll probably definitely work for this. Um, now the other one, I think I'm just going to use some of this orange. And then... Oh yeah, let me see something like that. resin in there and I'm going to use some orange and white oh yeah those work good uh, yeah let me see the container ink shit. it's getting that ink shit off too no. oh, I'm sorry it's getting off the ink so stuff. these miracle wipes for paint um, what is it that's in them? They smell great. Mm -hmm. It's a natural spearmint scent. That's what it is. But it gets off paint, adhesive, stain, grime. Instead of using Gooby Gone or that orange glow, whatever the heck it's called, soap, you can use these. Um, let's see. Back to my orange. Put another layer of orange over that white. More white. And now I am going to pour with more glitter. Me too, and the dog. Okay, so let's be very mindful of our situations here. All right, you're done with this. You gotta clean up as you go, babe. Nobody wants to see oh, this. Sorry. Nobody wants to sorry, see guys. it. All right, now I still have a couple of tubes. I'm messy with this alcohol ink. Oh, you did the diamond. I still got um, a circle or a cylinder. Whatever you want to call it. 
And here I am talking about be careful, and I'm just steadily getting stuff messed up. Boys and girls, this is why you wear gloves so your hands don't get sticky and stick to everything that you're working with. But, hey, tell me something I didn't know. Um, I'm going to pour maybe... Okay. I'm going to pour some of these black mica flakes in there. And, um, actually I'm going to go for the, the square... And I'm actually going to put a drop of gold alcohol ink in there already, two, sorry, two, and hit it with the white one time before resin and see what happens, see how that happens or how that comes out. Now, this is a no-go, honey. You Come should on. have poured this into something. It's That's hot. Not mine. It's going... This ain't mine, though. It's not yours? Hell no, that's yours. <laughs> See? Look, it's already... Look, you look, guys. Yeah. It's hot. I it's, used all mine. I didn't. Why didn't you say something to me? I'm over here in my own world, I, sir. I, exactly, babe. I'm in my own world, too. I... Okay, so, anyways, back to what I was doing. Anyway. I'm going to edit that part out. Yeah. So, I'm seeing some stuff going on in here, but I'm just going to mix this up myself. Oh, the flour? No, this has got black mica flakes and some white oh. alcohol ink that I already had jabbed in there. Yeah, I'll tell you, the ink... It's really good if you want to get like the little And this is going, so I need to pour this. And they look like little balls, and they, they'll they just sit there and look, look What, cool. the, the, the... Yeah, the ink? The white ink, or the, no, the, the water base, the water base, yeah. Yeah, you just pour yeah, it Yeah, it mixes it really cool, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. water base, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I, I was saying that on my last video. That you made that. some cool stuff with that. All right, I'm going to pour these really fast before... I have no working time left with what I have, and who knows how long this video is going to be. We're going to have to leave everything right there. I know, that's what I was thinking. I feel like it's not pushing it down in It's it. because, it's because it's already starting to cure oh. that's what I was saying before that's why I cut the time on it maybe you just need to do it for two minutes and then no uh, I honestly just think I need to try a different glaze because yeah. this is a glaze coat this is made like I said for tabletops and what have you I don't know if it's meant for casting it said that it was kind of like on the side for crafts and whatnot but mm. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Let me squirt some of this in there. Just use some of that red water-based ink. I'm going to shove that in there. See how that fares? Yeah, see, it's already starting to cure. This is going to be cool and have some bubbles in it. Yeah, that is really going already. So let's see. Oh no. If I can pour the rest fill it up. Definitely gonna have to get my sand and file on. Alright, that's done. I feel like there's something else at the plate. Let's just make a teddy bear out of all these leftovers.
waste not, want not, but what are you going to do? Now that I have made a colossal mess here, here are our creations. Get these bubbles on the top out. I don't feel like I'm doing this any good. Uh, gonna be a doozy all right so I definitely made a mess um, <laughs> yeah that was the leftover so it's cool just a little teddy bear I'm going to leave everything just like so and put my board over this and be back later.